For the series of exercises, you're going to need a medicine ball of any weight and a brick wall. Right? With these, you're going to get feedback not only how it feels, but how it sounds. Making a really loud sound indicates that you have a lot of power, but you also want to be smooth, have it be repeatable. See if you can tell the difference in sides. The shot putt throw is basically the same as the scoop toss, but with a different hand position. Right? And it's more of a punch or a push, and it's above or at the shoulders. These are great exercises to get strong and coordinated in both sides, regardless of your dominant hand. The next one is exactly how it sounds. You also want to think about, though, alternating feet that you step with. The goal here is to get comfortable throwing it. You don't have to necessarily catch it. Maybe you just catch it off the bounce. All right, you want to be careful it doesn't hit you in the face. This next one is a little less skill focused and more about just creating as much force as possible. Make sure you have your fingers safely on the ball so you don't smash them in and hurt yourself. This last one is a little more coordination. And we want to quickly pass it off the wall, maybe trying to get as many as we can in a period of time. For this next series, you're only going to get in an open field. Get as much space as you can with no ceilings. First up, we got the smash. See if you can get the ball to travel above your head off the bounce. Now, the lighter the ball, the easier this will be. The harder, the more difficult. Once you can consistently get it above your head, you can start to play around and have some fun. This one is hands down one of my favorite things to do. Basically, you throw that ball as high as you can. Basically, the longer the air time of the ball, the harder and more forceful you're throwing it. And remember, the higher and heavier an object is, the harder it's going to fall. So don't think you have to catch everything. If you have multiple sizes of medicine balls, play around and see which one you're able to throw higher, which one has the longer air time, and stuff like that. There are so many different ways you can throw it up, some more effective than others, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't practice or see what, what you got. For this next one, just imagine you're having fetch with your dog, except your dog's not catching it. You throw it and you catch it. If you throw it really high, maybe you just catch it off the bounce. Just like the last one, there's so many different ways you can throw it. Maybe the one that you don't throw as high are the ones that you try to catch. 